Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we go back to 1994, where this particular arcade classic was on my list for a while for any system, but became the one arcade game that never came home. During the 1990s in the arcades, there were so many games to choose from, including fighting, racing, and shooters. Some of the most memorable arcade games were the four players co-op beat-em-up games that were so chaotic on screen it was just a blast to play with four people on their quest to beat the game and spend a whole lot of quarters. During this time, brand name franchises like The Simpsons, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and The X-Men were main attractions. One game that was particularly hidden at the time, but when you saw it, you had to play it was none other than Alien vs Predator. This game had the blood and gore the other beat-em-ups were missing. That extra violence kept this game on my mind as one of the best four-player co-op games I have ever played. Alien vs Predator the arcade game was developed and released by Capcom in 1994 and used the CP System 2 JAMA arcade board. Capcom intended to release the game around the same time of the film after the success of both Predator and Alien franchises on the big screen. With an early script that was supposed to be a tie-in with the movie, the storyline changed but Capcom already had completed the game, since the film was delayed 10 years to be released finally in 2004, Capcom's version of the game would be a standalone story to the franchise and series. The game is your average 2D beat-em-up with animated sprites. The game would be based in California where the city of San Dorado is overrun by aliens. Major Dutch Schaefer and Lieutenant Lin Kurosawa of the Marine Corps have been abandoned but they are saved with a predator alliance where they somehow can communicate with each other just fine. You later find that it is a conspiracy with General Bush wanting to create bioterrorism with the alien species. Basically, it's up to the two humans and the two predators to stop their insane plans. Each character has their own fighting style, with Predator Warrior being the most balanced of the bunch, being fast and with a great reach. Predator Hunter is a bit slower but has more devastating moves. Major Dutch has a cybernetic arm and is powerful but extremely slow. Lieutenant Lin is the fastest in movement and attacks, but her reach is detrimental as she fights hand to hand. In the end, I found that the Predator Warrior was the absolute best to use. Each character does have a super button that will have the Predators use their shoulder cannon and the humans use their guns. They don't deduct life, but they can overheat or need to be reloaded. The game itself spans 7 levels, spending about 50 to 55 minutes to beat. In the end, it becomes one of the best arcade beat em ups but still is what it tries to be, which is an arcade game taking your money. You will die, and you will die a lot, and spend a lot of money to get to the end. Capcom intended to port the game to Sega's 32X, and that was one of the main reasons I purchased the add-on, but due to its failure, the project was abandoned. The closest game with the same idea was the Super Nintendo release of the game with the same name in 1993 by Activision. The game was unrelated and a completely different game entirely. It wasn't until Capcom finally announced the game to be included in their own system, the Capcom Home Arcade, which was released in 2019, which would have emulated arcade games released by Capcom. This one game truly meant a lot, as it was an inspiration to the likes of treasure designer Tetsuhiko Keikuchi for Garden Heroes for the Sega Saturn just two years later. Although the game was never ported and became a holy grail to me, 
I'm just glad it was made and now people can actually play it without looking or spending too much money like I did. And that's it for me on this look back at an incredible arcade experience, Alien vs Predator. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.